Hey, so I'm here with my K1C and I've got it uh, clogged. This is something that actually happens pretty frequently with K1C. Uh, it's got a clicking sound that goes along with it. I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue. It's pretty straightforward. That's our clicking noise there. Here's what we're going to do first. So you'll notice I've just pulled this uh, lever back here, so that's going to help some with the clicking, although eh, it hasn't quite stopped. There we go. Next thing I want to do, just want to pull this top part off. You can use a uh, screwdriver if you need. I've had to do it enough times that uh, unfortunately that's, that's pretty easy at this point. Next I'm going to pull out three screws. You can see I've already got this one out here. I'm going to pull out this one. And then if I come over to the other side, this one's going to come out as well, so I'll go ahead and do that. So now that I've got those screws out, this motor is actually going to lift away. Be careful not to just drop it. It is connected here, so we're just going to gently set it off to the side. And if you look down in there, you can see I've got a little piece of yellow filament that's jammed in there from the last time I was trying to do anything with it. So I'm just going to reach down in there. And pull it out. Look at that little guy. Tiny little thing causing all that trouble. We'll just put it off to the side. Now, you should be able to see pretty clearly down there. It looks like maybe we've still got a little debris in there. We'll try and run some filament through and see what happens. And we can just set that motor back in place with the Creality emblem facing forward. And I'll just go ahead and put all these screws back in. And we're going to put that top back on once we're done with that. So we've got all that put back together. I'm feeding some filament in right now. We'll go ahead and lock that back up. I'm going to go ahead and extrude. Oh, there it goes. Sure enough. Problem solved. No problemo. Anyway, this is a problem I run into probably once a week with my K1C at this point. So hopefully this helps somebody out. Thanks.